Good morning, my students. It's Baksa Mathematics Academy, and we are going to be discussing nominal and effective rates based on financial mathematics as core. So we got two examples that we need to do. So our first example says you invest two five zero 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 thousand at fourteen percent per annum compounded monthly for a period of 12 months use the annual effective rate to show that the same accumulated amount will be obtained as when using the nominal rate now we need to prove that the annual effective rate will be the same as the nominal rate All right from there we're going to start by putting the equation down which is one plus i for interest effective equal brackets one plus we insert the fourteen percent in Roma to divide the fourteen percent so it's gonna be divide the fourteen percent by hundred it's going to be zero comma fourteen percent over twelve which is compounded monthly monthly means twelve months so from there you take this one put it aside to be this negative one from there we get this value we insert this in a calculator times this by hundred so it gives a value of fourteen percent comma nine three which is almost the same as the annual interest fourteen percent all right our second example which is which they ask us to convert an annual effective rate of 13% per annum to a nominal rate per annum compounded same annually. Now here they want us to change an effective rate to a nominal rate compounded semi annual. Semi annual means times two, two times per year. So first we're gonna put down the equation which is one plus i for interest and then put down the equation one interest for nominal rate over n which is the compounding years of compounding period all right from there we're gonna this uh, interest effective interest is 13 percent so we're going to divide uh no this effective interest is 13.5 sorry it's a mistake there so we're going to divide this by 100 it's going to give us 0.135 equal uh, 1 plus interest nominal which we are trying to find all right in order to to get the interest nominal rate we're gonna divide we're gonna screw up both sides to get rid of the n right and the brackets so from there it's gonna be Two square root one comma one three five minus one. Since this one, we take it to the other side in order to get the interest of nominal rate, right? So we have we do it, and remember. It's two year two year so we times by two to get rid of this two year right you square root to this two and the brackets are gone so we left with this so it's interest in nominal rate now in order to get the interest nominal rate we insert this in the calculator we get our final answer 
this will be 13 comma 7 13 comma 0 7 percent and remember to put per annum it's also important because in the exam still ask you specifically to calculate the nominal interest rate and the per is important that's how you do it practice math 11 minutes from academy